Hey there, welcome to the world of GoPro. This was shot on the GoPro Hero 7, a somewhat older model. And sometimes things just feel kind of cheap. They're harsh, they're digital. If only there were a way to breathe some cinematic character to these harsh images. Oh yeah, Dehancer Pro, of course, this is just the latest iteration on a long line of Dehancer Pro videos. But the truth of the matter is, is that Dehancer Pro really does help with the Pro in your GoPro footage. And without further ado, let's dive in to just what Dehancer Pro can do for your GoPro imagery. And here is some GoPro Hero Black 7 footage from my upcoming Agua Caliente video. Most of these videos demonstrate Dehancer Pro with high-end cameras, and I wanted to show what it can do for footage like this. Now Dehancer Pro is not going to fool anyone, but there is still such a transformation that occurs. And I swear these images look better on a TV with the Dehancer Pro filmic transformation. When I shoot scenes like this, I am trying to capture warm, unforgettable moments and the anticipation of a major destination. And the closer I can get to film, the more satisfied I am with the results. And it seems that Dehancer Pro makes Croppins look better too. Honestly, I actually kind of prefer the croppins. And the worst shot of the whole trip looks that much better. And then this shot driving towards the casino after making another video elsewhere. This time I compared the Kodak Vision 350D to the Agfa Color 100. I personally prefer the subtlety of the Kodak film stock. And here I really liked how the film stocks treat the light coming into the parking structure versus the GoPro, which is a bit more harsh. After all, it's only your memories and experiences. I think with film and film emulation, it is one of those if you know, you know things. Next, I created a demo reel with videos labeled as GoPro from the free stock site Pexels. Not bad, but this Rolle CN200 turns this typical contemporary action shot into a vintage dream. Now, this snowmobile scene is definitely rougher to the eyes, but still cool. But a little more magic can be uncovered with a 16mm Kodak Vision 3 look with some blue added to the color head. Don't get me wrong, this shot started out excellent. It even reminds me of some IMAX films. But with Kodak Ektachrome E100, it turns out that this beautiful image has more beauty in it. This scene over the water starts out okay, and then with a 16mm Vision 3 look, this image elicits more feeling. At least it does for me. And then this footage of the swimmer already looks spectacular, but the film grain and film bloom take this scene to another level. Film just renders water so beautifully. And finally, another beautiful motorcycle scene, this time in the desert but arguably adding the Konica Impressa 50 gives the scene a bit more. You know, I am getting more excited to complete my Agua Caliente video, and with that, blessings.